Wow. <laughs> Good morning. A couple makeup updates for you if you're interested. I don't know how many of you are. I know it's hard to believe this, but I'm actually not a makeup guru, so keep that in mind. But uh, I recently, I know I did a video just a couple months ago um, testing out that El, El Maquillage, Maquillage foundation, and it was doing good for a while. Um, I actually did think it was a perfect match until winter hit. Steve and I quarantined for over a month, I literally didn't leave my house at all and my skin got so pale. This is the palest I've ever been in my life. So I actually went back to using this milk makeup stick, foundation stick, which I had bought and then only used once or twice because it was way too light for my skin. And I don't know how I didn't see that in the store, but I, I missed it. I just never returned it and it's just been here. And it is actually the perfect color for my skin now. And I really like it because it's um, got decent coverage, but without making your skin feel all cakey, which is like my biggest pet peeve. I actually kind of felt like the Il Maquillage um, foundation was starting to make my face feel cakey. And then I just blend it with a brush, and then I've been using this. That someone, one of my friends who's an influencer had given this to me because um, Pop Beauty gave her a ColourPop, is it Pop Beauty? Gave her like a bunch of free shit and she just never uses it. Um, so she gave me this and it's a, it's like a concealer, type of deal. I don't really know. Correct and conceal. So I've been using this pinkish one under my eyes to, uh, to get rid of darkness and then this like concealer part to brighten it up. It's not my favorite, but um, it's doing its job. So that's nice. And then I just go over like little blemishes or whatever with the concealer. The other thing that I've been really focused on lately are brows. I've been trying to grow out my brows. I don't know if you've been paying attention. I stopped plucking them all together last month in December, um, like early December. So I didn't pluck at all in December. I haven't plucked at all in January. And you can see this one's like growing a whole new eyebrow underneath it. But this one, not so much, very patchy. However, I heard that it takes about four months for your eyebrows to completely grow out. I don't know if that's true. I've never given it that long. Uh, I was gonna go for a year without plucking. We'll see if that happens. What's been working for me a little bit, I mean, if you think this is working, this is the best I can do. I've been using the Brow Wiz just to outline my eyebrows. And then I've been using this Tarte contour palette for like everything on my face. Eyebrows, eyeshadow, contour. Uh, I've been using this Dunes like taupey kind of color to fill in the brows. And then I was actually watching Haley Jade's IG stories. Yes, Haley Jade Mathers. Yes, Eminem's daughter. She's like 26 now or something, maybe older. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. And I actually follow her and she's a little, like such a cute influencer. She got a cute little Midwestern Michigan accent and she uses drugstore cosmetics. She's super relatable. I really like her content despite the fact that she's Eminem's daughter. She was using this Alme product that was exactly like this Anastasia product that I've had in my makeup cabinet forever and I never use because I thought that this was to be used alone and it always looked super sloppy to me. But she used it over powder just to like set her brows and kind of like make the hairs go the direction that she wants. And I actually really like it. So I started using this. And then once the foundation and brows are done, I usually just, that's it. Oh, and this um, lip stuff, what am I? Sugar, honey from Fresh lip stuff. I just use that. So just, just brows, foundation, this, boom, done. That's how I do it normal everyday life. However, on camera, you have to put some makeup on because your peoples are watching, not this channel. I love you, your family. So I've been using this super goop shimmer shade for the base of my eyeshadow. It's a an SPF. Oh, that's not the color that I've been using. It's an SPF, but it's also like very glowy and highlighty and beautiful and I love it. Um, you can use this just alone, but I've been using it as a primer. And then put this, these matte shades over it, which gives it kind of just like a pearlescent type of feel. It's like. There's no more glitter highlighterness, but there's just a little shimmer somewhere underneath there. And I've been using the same palette for my for just everything on my eyes. So I use this as like the base, and then all these colors are in the crease and all that stuff, and just a regular pencil eyeliner. And then I've been using the same palette 
for the contour. I usually use this around my cheekbones and jawline and then this one for the forehead just to add some color back in there because your girl's like super pale but like maybe we can pretend like we're a little bit tan or maybe that we've like seen the sun and in the past couple days we haven't. And then I just got these false eyelashes that I've never tried. I'm about to try them. I got them off of Instagram um, because all of the big mood girls use false eyelashes and they look so good on camera. Even though I like I have eyelashes and they look good with mascara in normal life, but on camera I feel like they disappear whereas their false eyelashes steal the show. And so I'm giving in. I'm giving in to peer pressure. So I thought I would try them today. I'm not very good at false eyelashes because I'd never wear them, but I thought I would get some practice in today with you and we could check them out. Hold up. These are from Doe, the brand Doe. I got them off Instagram because Michelle Fawn was wearing them and I'm a sucker for influencers. And I bought three different kinds because I don't know what kind suits my eyelashes, my lid shape. I have no idea, I'm very clueless. They came with stickers, so they're a brand after my heart and I'll never leave them now. I also think I can use this bag for something. Maybe like to help separate some of my makeup in there. I don't know, I don't wanna throw it away, it's so cute. I also wanna try these without mascara on, just just the falsies. And I think I'm gonna try, let's try these uwu ones. How do you say that? With U-W-U, uwu? Oh yeah, and I also have um, Michelle Fawn's M Cosmetics blush on, cause it's like a highlighter and a blush in one. Uwu, we don't know. Cold pizza, Tuesday. Maybe we should start with a different one. These are outrageous. They're really pretty, but they're uh maybe a little too nightclub. I got food up in the fridge. Oh my goodness. I really like these. Wow, these are really cute. Um, okay, so this was the not the uwu, but the these were called morning dew. Morning dew. And to be honest, I did cave and put um, mascara on the bottom and I also put eyeliner on, but I actually liked it better without. I think if I were to do this again, I would go more natural. But um, yeah, super cute. And they're like very weightless. I really like them. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check them out. Not sponsored at all, but wanting to try. Wow, I really like them, okay. I'm gonna go now. We just finished recording shit they don't tell you. Check out the podcast studio. Wow, wowie. I'm gonna go upload all this footage and then I'm gonna edit a video. It's a party channel, is it not? Y'all keep looking for that new way. I think I like it how it is.